We're Life Poland, reaching Poland with the Gospel. In the next few minutes, I'm going to take you on a journey to Eastern Europe and to the country of Poland to share with you all the great things that God is doing through the ministry of Word of Life. Our main ministry is working with youth Bible clubs. We currently have 15 clubs across the country and various local churches. This spring, we visited each of the clubs and organized a pitcher scavenger hunt. The youth broke up into groups and went around town trying to find pictures of particular things. They had a lot of fun, but the real reason that we had this was to bring in unsaved kids so that we could share the gospel with them. At one club, there were eight unsaved kids that came out as a result of the pitcher party. This is just one of the outreach events we do with the Bible clubs throughout the year. A church in eastern Poland had a baptism for six young people last fall. All six got saved at Word of Life events. These were the first baptisms at the church in 30 years. Our goal as a ministry is to get young people interested and excited about studying the Word of God. One of the ways that we do this is through something we call quizzing. Each fall, teams from around Poland gather to see which team knows the 18 memory verses and six lessons best. There can be some intense competition, but the real reward is seeing so many young people hiding God's word in their heart. One of the greatest challenges for any organization is training the next generation of leaders. It has been said that the church is always one generation away from extinction. This is also true in our ministry. If we do not train young people to be leaders, our ministry will eventually fade away. We have five leadership training weekends a year, along with other training opportunities. These weekends include teaching, encouragement, accountability, and fun. We have built up a strong group of leaders from different churches around Poland that we are training so that they can have a better ministry in their youth groups. Camping has been a staple of the ministry of Word of Life since the beginning stages of the ministry. Currently, there are Word of Life camps in over 60 countries around the world. In Poland, we have had one week of summer camp for the past several years, but this year we are expanding to two weeks. We use sports and English as attractions to our camp, but like the other events that we have, the real goal is to share from the Bible so that God can change young people's lives. Each year, we see many people make decisions to trust Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, and others make decisions to live their lives for God and not just for themselves. We also have a week-long winter camp in the southern part of Poland. We have activities like skiing, tubing, snowboarding, ice skating, and sled rides. This also has impacted many young people's lives. One of the most exciting aspects of our ministry is Missions Camp. This is a week of evangelism on the streets of Poland. We go to two cities and try to share the gospel as much as we can in the time that we are there. We use testimonies, dramas, singing, sketchboards, and in the evening we show a gospel film in the middle of the town. We usually invite a few youth from each of the clubs so that after the camp they will go back to their towns and be excited about evangelism. Also, a group of Americans joins with us to get the good news out. Each year we see about a hundred people come to know the Lord, to the glory of God. God has put together a wonderful staff in the ministry of Word of Life Poland. We are led by Tim and Jenny Good, who have been in Poland since 1995, along with their four children. This past fall, we had five national missionaries join our staff. They have all been to at least one year of Bible school and have demonstrated a heart to serve the ministry. Michelle and Jeanetta and their two young children are very helpful. 
Michel is very mechanically inclined and he fixes anything that can be fixed. Jeanette helps prepare meals for our leadership weekends. Asha has been a great help as a secretary. She is studying administration at a local university and does very well with computers and graphic design. Noemi is studying early childhood education. She leads our children's programs during missions camp. Sabina helps out with translating and also dramas. She's very creative and her creativity adds a lot to all of our activities. We also have three young people who are just finished studying at Bible school. We look forward to seeing how God uses Marisha, Philip, and Danusha in the future. Our staff is great, but really our ministry is about people. The girls on our staff have a ministry with young girls all over Poland. They spend a lot of time encouraging them on the phone and in person when they have a chance. One of my desires is to expand this ministry to the young guys in Poland. Most of the guy leaders that we work with are young. Some are only 16 and they are leading the youth groups. I have been part of a conference call on Tuesday evenings where we teach and encourage some of our guy leaders. I also talk with several guys about quiet time when I am able. The future of our ministry depends on training the next generation. That's my desire to train Polish young people to be useful servants of the Lord. Thank you for allowing me to share with you what God is doing in Poland. I really feel privileged to be a part of His work. Please be in prayer for me because it is my desire to be in Poland full time by January 2010. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or check out my website for regular updates. God bless.